Thank you so very much. And uh, good to see everyone here. And good to be back in Perth, my first time back, Perth's my home, so first time that uh, I've been allowed to come home in several years. Uh, anyway, um, uh, so just people settling down. So I believe, are we going to do some meditation? Would you, would you like to do some meditation? Yes? Because <laughs> if you said no, I don't know why we... Well, okay, we lost. Oh, well, what, 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 what kind of meditation would you like to do? Uh, look, okay, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. Um, now, WA, uh, I believe, it's, well, this is still a democracy, right? <laughs> yes? Okay, fine. So uh, we're going to vote for the meditation that we're going to do. Is that all right? Okay, good. Power to the people. Yes. <laughs> uh, number one, mindfulness of breathing. Okay. Number two, metta, loving kindness meditation. Number three, I always introduce a wild card when I do this. Number three, <laughs> number three, meditation on the fire element. Okay? On the fire element. Okay? So with that meditation, you can do cool stuff. Like when you die, you can just burn up your whole body and just leave nothing behind, that kind of thing. So it's good. Anyway, so how many people want to do mindfulness of breathing? Okay? How many want to do metta? How many want to do fire meditation? Oh! <laughs> you see? <laughs> okay, very good. <clears throat> so, um, I'll, I'll say a few words about fire meditation first, and then we can do some guided meditation. But I'll just do a very quick introduction. So, of course, according to Buddhism, uh, we meditate on the, the kind of, we, one of the meditations we can do is on the different elements: uh, earth, water, fire, and air. Now, the element of fire obviously corresponds to heat. And we can experience both that, that fire element, both inside and outside. Fire element, of course, is not just fire, but is also heat and the lack of heat. So what we do is we, in a sense, we kind of tune in to that physical property of heat, which can then become something that our meditation can find a basis on. All right? Just like any other kind of meditation. Now, don't get your hopes up, okay? If you're not going to like rise in the air on a pillar of flame just after one meditation, probably, okay? So usually, you know, if you want to do anything fun like that, then you're going to have to practice a bit harder, okay? But what you can do is you can, you, by identifying and focusing on the feelings inside your body, that you can learn, to, you can even change your body temperature. You know how like the Tibetan monks will, you know, they'll meditate in the snow and they'll keep themselves hot? Well, this is how they do it. They meditate on the fire element. And so th this is it's actually quite a practical uh, meditation. Uh, and see, here's the thing. The, why we meditate on these elements is because when any of these elements are there in their pure form, they draw your mind. Think about it. Yeah? You walk down to the river or down to the ocean and you look at the water. Yeah? Or you sit by the fire and just watch the flames. There's something about it that just draws your mind. Yeah? And so these elements have that energy that draws the mind in. And there's a simplicity and a purity to them. So through this practice of the fire element, we can help learn another method to bring our mind to stillness and to peace. But also, meditation on the fire element will provide um, like a particular avenue for the development of insight. Because fire is very closely associated with impermanence. Fire is the element of change. Yeah? So, um, for this evening, we're just going to be looking at one, 
particular way of doing this meditation. There's many different ways of doing it. You can do it with an actual fire, right? Light a fireplace and sit there and use it to meditate. But for today, we're going to be meditating on the heat that we experience in our body and that we experience outside. All right? So we've got a couple of people just coming in. Take your time. Just kind of mindful when you're coming in. Don't worry, this is just the right time. You missed out on all the boring bits. Excellent. Very good. <clears throat> Let's do some meditation. <clears throat> so sitting quietly. Take a few minutes to just sit there peacefully and relax inside your body. starts to think about this and that, just be aware of it, oh, okay, my mind's off thinking, it's all right, be mindful and come back, come back to the present, come back to your body and notice the feelings and sensations in the different parts of your body.
your mind settles inside your body, pay attention to the different variations of temperature that you can experience. Maybe your toes might feel a little bit cold. Or maybe the center of your belly might feel warm. So just pay attention to some part of your body where you can feel heat or the lack of heat. And then as you focus on that, just, just gently letting that become prominent in awareness. And if you like, you can reinforce your focus by saying to yourself the words fire, fire, fire. And just using that to help to anchor your mind. You can try moving your mind through the different parts of your body, starting at the top of your head. And keeping that focus on the fire element. Moving your focus down through the back of your head, down your face. And just noticing the small differences, so you're not paying attention to um, the solidity, you're not paying attention to the feelings of pleasant or neutral or painful, you're not paying attention to uh, like muscular tension or anything like that, only paying attention to the, to the heat, to the temperature. And as you move down through your neck, shoulders, feel every different part of your body has that heat energy in it. Moving down, slowly noticing that each part of your body is filled with the fire element. Now, while you're doing that, sometimes it might happen that one particular part of your body might sort of become prominent, might leap out at you. So if that's the case, then you can stay with that, keep focusing on that one part. But if that's not the case, then just keep going through each part of your body. Until you're aware of the fire element through all the parts of your body.
Now, I want you to, now that we have a perception of that feeling of the fire element in there, I want, to, I want you to see if you can turn it up. I want you to imagine that this fire, this heat in your body, like a little, like a little gas pilot flame that's just barely burning. And so we can turn that up just a little bit. Feel that fire growing inside our body. See if you can kind of coax that feeling to give a warm and invigorating energy through your whole body. And when you feel that strong fire in your body, it makes you feel invincible. It makes it feel like that's going to burn up all of your problems, your anxieties, your doubts, your worries. You can feel your whole body becoming a pure white flame.
want you to take that fire that you feel inside you and I want you to feel the fire that's happening outside you as well. So this is using your imagination. Expand your mind, your consciousness. And you feel that fire, that heat, that energy in the air around you. You can feel that heat almost like you can partly feel it, partly see it in your mind's eye. You can feel all the people around you in this room, each one of them burning like a flame, like little nodes, concentrated nodes of heat, all connected by this energy that's moving and changing all around us. And then from this room up into the atmosphere, the sky, and just feel that heat and that movement and that life. And you feel that sense of connection that dissolves your individual self. So that that fire you feel inside and the fire you know outside is all part of that same fire element. Now bring awareness back inside your own body. And let those fires die down. Let your perception come back to normal. Focus once more just on that simple sensation of heat inside your own body. And that fire element that you can feel now. That fire element is always changing, always conditioned. And yet it connects with the fire element all around you.
It binds you into a web. Now then we can let our perception of the fire go. Let the mind come back to a neutral place. Before we finish, Take a minute to mindfully review over the meditation we've just done together. Ask yourself, what happened? What was that like? Did I feel that fire element? What was it like? How did it change? How did it manifest? Was I able to perceive that fire element inside me and outside me? And finally, ask yourself, how has my mind changed now compared to how it was at the start of the meditation? And finally, to finish up, we can dedicate the merit of our practice. May all beings be safe, may all beings be well, may all beings realize Nibbana, Sa. You can open your eyes, come out. <clears throat> okay, very good.